New tonight, Chicago's carjacking crisis is getting worse. Take a look at these numbers. Police telling us there have been 352 carjackings in the city so far this year and only 62 arrests. And tonight we know a 14 year old girl was behind at least four of those carjackings. CBS 2's Tara Molina spoke with an Uber driver who says she was targeted by the teenager. That 14 year old girl who we aren't identifying because of her age is facing four felony charges for her involvement in carjackings. One of the victims, Carolyn Andrews. One jump behind me so fast that my head was like this. It took a while so to cold. get here. Carolyn Andrews still can't get back in the driver's seat without thinking about it. When I got back in the car, it's like I could just feel her hands around my neck. The night she says she picked up two young girls while driving for Uber, only to end up in a chokehold. It hurts. Blood pouring from her see. nose. Because I did have to go to the hospital. Carolyn relies on oxygen and a special heart monitor 24 7. She says she had to beg the girls to give them to her before stranding her on the west side. Yes, they passed it to me themselves. Well, you can see the back. It's one bullet hole right here. Showing us the car they took off in now, damaged with a bullet hole in the back, but recovered and back in her spot. She says, Thank God they spared my life. One of the girls behind her carjacking saw a judge today, and we found oh, Carolyn is not the 14 year old's only victim. She's behind three other recent carjackings across Chicago, according to CPD, facing four felony charges. Now we learned that 14 year old was already on electronic monitoring before her arrest. Lock her up. That's what I want to see. So while Carolyn is back driving for Uber again because she says she can't afford not to. I'm working from Paycheck to paycheck. She hopes the girl behind the anxious feeling she gets every time she does this is learning something the fourth time around. It shouldn't come to no fourth victim. That 14 year old girl is still on electronic monitoring with a judge's orders to stay home. She's being monitored by a probation officer and has an educational advocate helping her with school. For CBS 2, I'm Tara Molina.